Hi, it's Renee Rouleau, esthetician and founder of Renee Rouleau Skincare. I am here to talk about sunscreens and how to prevent them from breaking out your skin. So if you're somebody that has oily, acne-prone skin, and especially during the summer when you're sweating, sunscreens just cause a mess for your skin, then this is definitely the video you wanna be watching. I have developed a technique that I created myself. It's a layering technique that works really well for my skin as well as so many of our customers and clients and I know it will work well for you to uh, prevent all the clogging that can go on but yet still keep your skin protected because certainly people who are oily and acne prone skin they want anti-aging. They know the importance of protecting their skin from their sun but uh, from the sun, but it's, you know, it's hard to find sunscreens that don't break you out. So I am going to solve that for you today. I'm gonna to start this layering technique, but first of all, I already cleansed my skin. I used a toner. I left a toner, uh, left the toner on damp. I used my energy boosting toner. Of course, you're always gonna to wanna to use alcohol-free toners. The next thing I put on, which is so important, especially in the summertime, um, when people are out in the sun more and exercising and swimming and water skiing and all that good stuff, um, is vitamin C and E treatment. So this is really important. No matter which type of uh, product you use, make sure it uses stable vitamin C, so it's gonna really hold up when you're in the environment. But vitamin C helps to keep melanin cells settled down to prevent freckles and brown spots if those are bothersome to you. Um, but it's also protecting your skin cells from environmental damage that occurs due to free radical damage. So using an antioxidant serum is a must, and especially one that doesn't clog your pores like that one. So now you've got your skin clean, it's prepped, you have your vitamins on, and you're ready to start layering on sunscreen. So the idea here first is that the first product that goes on your skin, as far as a lotion is concerned, you wanna make sure that it doesn't clog your pores and um, feel greasy on the skin, because um, that's what's, you know, the first product that goes on from a lotion standpoint is what's touching the skin first. So the first layer should be the one that is least likely to clog your pores. So in my line, I created Rene Rouleau Daily Protection SPF 30. Um, I developed this about 15 years ago for my own skin because I had a terrible time finding um, sunscreens that didn't clog the pores. That's part of the problem with sunscreens is they are just, you know, the ingredients they're formulated with um, cause that side effect. So it definitely is a problem for people to be able to find one that doesn't um, cause problems for their skin. Um, so find one that you like or that you've heard that doesn't clog the pores or certainly use this one and you're applying your first layer. So what you're going to do is you have to apply a generous amount. Uh, the key to sunscreen, um, as many of you may know, is about um, it's about applying it generously. It's not so much the SPF number, it's how thick you put it on. So you need to apply it with a heavy hand. Don't miss any area. The nice thing about Daily Protection SPF 30 is it dries to a matte finish. It doesn't leave a whitish cast, although it does have some zinc oxide in it. And, of course, most importantly, it doesn't block the pores. You definitely don't want to forget your neck or any exposed areas. So normally I would put it behind my neck if I had my hair up for working out, but I'm not going to do that for this demonstration. And the nice thing also about this particular sunscreen, you can use primers with it, makeup primers, and it doesn't make sunscreens ball up, which a lot of them um, a lot of sunscreens will do. So your first layer is Daily Protection SPF 30. This has both physical and chemical sunscreens in it. So it has octanoxate, which is a chemical um, sunscreen. And what this does, uh, what chemical sunscreens do, it changes UV rays into heat and then releases it from the skin. Physical blockers um, like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide work by um, scattering and deflecting sunscreen rays off the surface of the skin. So the way, the best way to think about it, chemical sunscreens are more working within the skin, and physical sunscreens are working on the surface to 
um, deflect rays. So the technique that I created and works for me is I want a chemical sunscreen on my skin first. Um, of course, one that doesn't block the pores, but to get the best protection, um, my philosophy is that when you put a chemical sunscreen on, um, it's working more within the skin. And so it's really kind of like an inside out approach, right? It's uh, protecting from inside and then a physical helps to protect more on the outside. So that's the philosophy that I have um, known to be true and that's what I like to do for my skin. Now you have your first layer on. So again, it has a chemical sunscreen agent in it, so it's really working deep within the skin and working effectively because chemical sunscreens um, are very proven to work very well. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, I need it to be water resistant. So if you're working out outside and sweating during the summer um, and you want your sunscreen to hold up, you need to have something that's water resistant. My daily protection SPF 30 is not water resistant because it's meant for everyday use, um, for under makeup, but I want something, um, I need something that's gonna hold up with sweating and swimming when I'm outdoors. The next layer that I'm gonna use is La Roche uh, Posay, which is a French company. Um, so I originally got this um, when I was over in France visiting family. And this one is water resistant um, up to 80 minutes. Sunscreens now can't say they're waterproof because they're not, um, but they resist the water. You know, I'm doing this layering technique um, to give my skin the best protection. So this is the layer that is gonna hold up from sweat. And because this is not the first layer that I put on, I put on the other sunscreen, this is a little bit less apt to get into the pores because it wasn't the first thing touching the skin. So again, you always want to apply it generously. You always want to cover all exposed areas of the skin. The first layer is the one that is touching the skin first and it doesn't block the pores. It's also chemical-based sunscreen, so it's gonna really work deep within the skin. And then now this one is the water-resistant layer. This one actually is also a chemical-based sunscreen. Um, but we're gonna get to the physical momentarily. And my skin can get a little tacky afterwards from using that one. So I'll take a little tissue and blot the skin ever so slightly just to remove a little bit of the slickness. Although I like this one and it works well for me um, because it is really lightweight. So a lot of the water resistant sunscreens that are out there are heavier, so this is um, one that's good for oily and acne prone skin or people who are prone to clogged pores. Now I have two layers of sunscreen and now we're going on to the third layer. You've probably heard me talk about it on my blog before, but it's called Color Science. This is a pure physical block, so it's meant to deflect and scatter rays off the surface instead of the UV rays changing it into heat. What I don't like to do is to use the brush, so this is meant to kind of brush on but it, I usually do use this if I'm touching up during the day, just like when I have makeup on. But right now my skin feels a little bit tacky. Again, you know, that, I mean, using the tissue is gonna help take a little bit of that off. But if I use the brush, the brush kind of clumps up and gets a little kind of less than nice. So instead what I do is I open up the back. I'll put it into the palm of my hand. This is the fair color, by the way. They come in several different shades. They're never gonna be a perfect match to the skin. So I use Fair right here. And then if you guys have ever tried my toning cloths before, Rene Rouleau toning cloths, you can also use cotton pads as well, but it's best to use flat ones, I think it's easier. So you're gonna put it on here, and then you're gonna pat it on the skin. So as you can see, it's not the world's greatest match. It's a little orangey, but that's okay. You know, for working out and stuff like that, it's fine. Now what you're doing here is you're putting a, a pure physical block onto the face. I'm actually putting three sunscreens on my skin because I'm that obsessed <laughs> with keeping my skin protected and safe out in the sun. This is, um, I'm using it pretty generously. This is when I'm gonna be outside sweating a lot. I mean, it's summer right now here in Austin. I'm training um, for a 24 mile 
trek through the Grand Canyon next month. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm doing a lot of hiking for training, a lot of sweating, and I need it to hold up. It is also water resistant. You put a really good, generous coat. So the skin is gonna look a little chalky. So it's not, you know, it can look a little matte looking, which is fine for me. I mean, whatever protects my skin. Then I'll take it, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'll take it and also put it on the neck. So right now my skin feels really nice and matte. Oily skin types will never be upset with our skin looking matte, will we? So there you have it. That's my layering technique that gives both physical and chemical based sunscreens to the skin. It's holding up in water, it's uh, in sweat, it's not gonna make you break out. The skin feels nice and matte right now because the top layer was the powder and um, the skin is perfectly protected to go out and swim and be active in the sun. One thing I wanna mention is that what I have on my skin right now will hold up for 80 minutes because that's as long as uh, the layering of the sunscreens will be water resistant for. So after 80 minutes, sometimes I'll do it a little sooner than that, to reapply, I'll just keep putting on the color science. Because what's nice about this is because it's physical, that's always the last step you want on the skin is your physical blockers. It also is water resistant. So um, you can just keep reapplying this every 80 minutes, whether you wanna do it on the little cotton pad or a toning cloth, you can do it that way, or if you wanna use the brush, you can. But because it's powder, it's gonna be less likely to block the pores. Um, you don't really wanna be putting you know, the water resistant, a little bit of that heavier, greasier block on the skin. This is a great way for clog prone skin types to keep reapplying. So as long as you're out there sweating, swimming in the sun, keep putting on the color science and um, you won't get a suntan or a sunburn and your skin will be really protected and without worry of it blocking the pores. So now let's go on to removing the sunscreen. This is super important. You've got many layers on there. You've been sweating and swimming and at the beach, at the lake, and it's really important that we prevent any potential blockage of the pores. So the most important thing is the cleanser that you use to remove it with. You do not wanna use a gel cleanser, a bar soap, anything that's more water-based. You need to use something that has some oil in it because for the water-resistant um, portions of the, of the layers that are on the skin, the whole understanding of it being water-resistant is it doesn't break down with water. So you need something with oil to break that down. Um, so oil dissolves oil. So. I love using the Rene Rouleau Vitamin Infused Cleansing Emulsion. It's got a thick consistency, it's got some oils in it, but they're water soluble oils, they won't block the pores. This is what is really needed to break this down. So you can see it's a cleansing lotion. So it's not, you know, you can see it's not too, uh, too thick, but what you wanna do is you wanna apply it to the skin first. Um, I mean dry skin first, meaning don't have your skin wet. Massage it through really nicely. You know, use a fair amount. You really want to be able to see it. Now the cleanser is working to break down the water resistant sunscreen. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add water to it. With wet fingertips, start working it through. So right now, all the water resistant sunscreen that's on the skin, which is the powder, and the other lotion are being emulsified. You're breaking down any oil that's gotten into the pores. Massage this through really nicely. Wet your fingertips again, work it through again, and then you're gonna wipe the skin. And this is really important. You don't wanna rinse off. You wanna do a wiping action first. Like this and the reason for this is because it's the wiping action that is actually taking it off if you just rinse your skin and splash your skin because we're dealing with oils you're not going to really get removed from the skin so you can see we've got some of the mineral powder coming off I like to use um, gentle facial sponges 
Well, what I'm using right now is a baby washcloth. I don't like to use regular washcloths. They tend to be a little too rough and abrasive. And I like to treat my skin gently, as I'm sure you do as well. This is what's really removing and lifting off all the sunscreen, all the oils, and cleaning the skin. Now, I'm not in front of a sink right now, but you can also go ahead and sp now splash your skin if you would like and do another rinse and do a final wipe for removal. So we can safely say right now that all the oils from the water resistant sunscreens are now clean from the skin. However, because you have been outside and sweating and um, you know heat can dilate the, open of the opening of the pore ever so slight, some of those oils can get into the pores, plus you have your own oil and sebum secretion coming out of the pores. The main um, thing we wanna focus right now is cleaning out the pores. So we're gonna do this with Rene Rouleau Rapid Response Detox Mask. So I developed this mask as a way to get into the pore lining because it has salicylic acid, which of all the acids gets into the pores the deepest, and various antibacterial ingredients that are proven to destroy all visible bacteria from the skin surface and within the pore within five minutes. I'm gonna leave it on longer than five minutes. I'm gonna leave it on about 10 minutes. But this is really what is, what is stopping the potential cycle of pores getting clogged. One thing to note, this is a gel. It's a gel mask. Gel masks have the ability to lower the temperature of the skin. So they're very calming and hydrating. This mask is very, very calming. So what this is good for is if your skin is, you know, you come back from a day in the sun and your skin is red and flushed, this is gonna help calm that down. What you can also do is keep it in the refrigerator. And by keeping it in the refrigerator, it makes any gel mask extra cold. That is also good for reducing redness. Also, um, since heat and sun, both heat and sun, not just sun, but heat and sun um, increase melanin activity. After a day in the sun, you might find your freckles are starting to show up or some brown spots have come to the surface. So anytime you can cool the skin, this is helping to send a signal to, um, to your melanin cells to settle down and um, that can help it start to fade. So I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes, rapid response detox mask, and let it um, get into the pores and really clean things out. Okay, so now this has been on the skin for 10 minutes. It feels very cooling, very soothing. It gets into the pores to help reduce the bacteria. Now I'm gonna remove it. One other thing that you can do if you have a little bit extra time, you can lightly exfoliate before you put this mask on. You can use a gentle facial scrub, but very gently and something that has very round beads, nothing super scratchy. I oftentimes will use triple berry smoothing peel, if anyone's familiar with this one in my line, but it's called triple berry smoothing peel, and it uses five different acids. It's kind of, I'll quickly show you what it looks like because it's, oh, so delicious. So it's, you know, red. So it has five different acids in it and um, also has salicylic acid on it, in it, which is also good for clearing out the pores. But you can put this on and leave it on for um, about five minutes and it just does a nice light exfoliation before you put the mask on. So it actually helps the mask to work a little bit into the pores um, better um, because you've removed any um, dead cells that might be blocking the pores. So that's a little extra bonus if you have some extra time. Um, that combination is really nice. And even any time that, you know, even when you're not wearing sunscreen, um, this combination of triple berry smoothing peel, leave it on five minutes, rinse off, put on rapid response detox mask. So I'm gonna use 
energy boosting toner just to get rid of any tap water residue because salts, chlorines, and minerals can dehydrate the skin. So you want to get all that off. After a day out in the sun and in the heat, I definitely want to suppress that antioxidant activity. I mean, I suppress those melanin cells and increase antioxidant activity. So this is really good when my pigment cells fire up. I always get a little, you know, brown spotty, sun spotty after I've been out in the Texas heat. Lastly, you want to put on a lightweight moisturizer. So you don't want anything to clog the pores. This is Rene Rouleau Sheer Moisture Lotion. This is really nice because it's very lightweight. It doesn't have, doesn't use any pore clogging oils. It also has antioxidants in it because when you've been out all day and you've been exposed to the environment, you want um, that protection on the skin. So there you have it. That is my special layering technique as a way to keep my skin protected from the sun and have it hold up, um, have sunscreens hold up when I'm sweating and working out outside and then also feel confident that my skin's not going to um, get all bumpy and broken out after I've done so. So um, the most important thing is using the right sunscreens, keeping your skin protected, uh, reapply, and then also in, what, in how you remove it. Um, you wanna reset the skin, and I showed you how to do that, um, but you definitely need to be using ingredients that help keep the pores clean and prevent any of the oils and the ingredients from the sunscreens from causing a blockage, which will then lead to breakouts. I hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. For more skincare tips, visit ReneeRouleau.com. My blog is under the advice section, and I have 1,500 blog posts that um, have all of my great skincare advice, and you can learn from me and have the Rene Rouleau glow and have great skin and have it be clear and glowing. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.